In case you can't tell, I'm not a happy person right now. So, because of the Euros and because of this jet lag, I didn't go to bed until about fucking 6.30 this morning. And then, about 10 minutes ago, which is about 9.30, my mom comes in and she goes, you need to get up and go. I'm like, what? She's like, you need to get ready and go have your visa photos taken. I fucking lost it, man. But what I do have on the agenda today is... Visa photos, eat, gym, pick up a card reader, pick up a new pair of earphones, pick up an extended mouse pad. Six things on my list today. Let's see if we can get them done, boys. Anyway, let's roll out of here and get these fucking photos taken. Oh my god. just arrived at the place to have my passport photos taken holy shit it's bright outside um yeah so just had a just came to get my passport fo fo photos taken gonna go to do that also working on working on my fear of vlogging in public because that shit's scary as hell so i'm gonna work on both those things today um also i want to talk a little bit about uh i want to elaborate on something that i said about yesterday about negativity which i'll do after this okay so at the electronics market just gonna walk actually downstairs into it. I hate this in the sun. I feel like I'm always really fucking bright when I shouldn't be. The amount of judgy eyes is real though, but that's okay. I've gotta get used to it because I'm about to do it in an English speaking country coming up soon, so might as well work on my fear now and just get over it. You know what I mean? The way I feel is like I'm never gonna see most of these people again anyway. So who the hell cares what people think, I guess. I just love the judgy eyes though. And I just looked, oh, especially with such a huge camera on all the time. Like, Jesus. And especially when you walk past a group of English people. Most awkward <laughs> thing in the entire world, but that's okay. Also, want to see if I can get a bigger uh, gorilla pod. This place is literally so shady. You guys can have a look. Got in trouble straight away for filming in there. I feel like it's because that place is highly illegal, which it is. So, like, literally in there, two minutes, and so we're told me to turn off the camera. I managed to get a couple of cheeky shots that I'm sure you guys would have already seen. But yeah, that was fucked up. Literally in there, before I could even say anything into the camera, got fucked over. That's okay. Look at all the judgy eyes though, love it. You know what, who the hell cares? I'm enjoying it. I kinda like it actually. And people are probably like wondering, you know what the hell I'm doing, but that's okay. Let's go get back in the car, go home. Mission was pretty successful. Okay, like I said, pretty successful. Got a card reader and a micro SD. Didn't get an extended mouse pad. Didn't get headphones either, earphones either, but you know, I think that's not such a big deal because I have loads of pairs at home. I don't really need a new pair. So I'll just go grab a like go grab an old pair, not a big deal. But uh well not pretty successful. Um yeah, I'm pretty pretty tired. Okay, so earlier I said that I wanted to elaborate on something that I said yesterday. Or maybe not yesterday now, but in the previous vlog, because there would have been a video in between that one and this one. Anyway, point being, what I said in that vlog is we have enough negativity in our lives. Go out and do something nice for somebody else. Now, I still really believe this is true. 
And when I was out, I got a notification on my phone about um, about someone that commented on one of my videos. Now, normally I wouldn't give them the time of day, but I just want to use this to prove my point, right? So, I got this comment. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it says, Speaking of growing, you should grow a Kent to sympathize with your viewers. I've lost my cock and I want it back. I feel like Caitlyn Jenner. Wow. That comment literally makes me just, I don't even know what to think. Like, there was lots more that I've just gone through and I've just gotten rid of because they're just complete trash. And I just think, like, honestly, what is the point in bringing someone else down, right? Now, there's really, like, I don't understand the point in putting someone else down, right? Like, does it give people personal satisfaction? Like, I mean, I, I sure, it sure wouldn't give me personal satisfaction. I don't understand why people would enjoy doing that. Like, what's the point? All you're doing is making the other person feel shitty, right? Like, not that that got to me at all, because regardless of what sort of feedback, whether they're likes, dislikes, comments, whatever it may be, whatever the feedback I'm getting back, I can turn that into something positive. I'll take the negative, turn it into a positive in order to improve my vlogs. But when, whenever you, you tell somebody they can't do something or you put them down for something that they're doing differently, really all you're doing is making yourself look like an ass because in the long run people are going to do what they want to do and generally in society people who do their own thing and people who are unique who are unique and don't follow a crowd generally do better than those who do right and like i said earlier today in my vlog um i was really worried about like vlogging in public and this is just like me really made me think like who cares what other people think i'm doing me i'm doing my own thing you know if I get judged, I get judged. It is what it is, right? I've still got a great group of friends around me that understand me for me and understand what I'm doing. I'm doing this because I really enjoy doing this. I'm doing this because I want to. Don't really care what anyone else thinks. Anyway, didn't mean to go on such a rant. Um, uh, you know, it just gets to me, man. Like, people that are always so negative all the time, it, uh, it just gets to me. And uh, I know I started this morning's vlog with a little bit of negativity because I was tired, but trying to turn that around now. I'm trying to turn the negatives into the positives, like I said. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably nap for a little bit because I am feeling a little bit tired. And then I'll wake up and then I'm going to get some food. Then I've got to edit a vlog, well, this vlog. And um, then maybe stay up tonight and watch the Wales game. Um, that's who I want to go and see. Uh, who went to go see in France, so I think I should watch them. They're playing Belgium tonight, so that should be pretty good. But anyway, I'm going to take a little nap, and yeah, so see how that goes. Just woke up from one of the best naps I ever had. Honestly, I feel like there's not many better things in the world than taking a nap. Like, you know when you're just really tired, and you're really cranky, and you're just like, dude... I just really need a nap. It's exactly what just happened. It felt so motherfucking good. Oh my God. I feel so much better. I feel so, so much better. So, new video comes out in 10 minutes. So 10 minutes. Till then, I don't even know. Don't even know. I gotta prepare for this. This is probably gonna be my best video yet, I'm gonna say. Um, I'm pretty hyped for this. I'm pretty hyped for this video to come out because I, uh, it took a lot of preparing and planning to do this video. So I'm pretty fucking hyped. Pretty hyped. But I do have a concept I wanna run through with you guys, actually. Um, now let me know what you guys, let me know what you think of this. How would you guys feel? Now I talked about this I think in my first vlog. How would you guys feel if I started doing like mini movies? Like not like not like narrative storyboard like fairy tale movies or anything like that, like made up stories. I'm talking about like mini movies talking about things like that people are really worried about or not worried about but think th things that annoy people. Like oh, this is what I really want to make a film on because I feel like it could be really good. And that is Fucking people 
walking in front of you, whether it be on the street, in the mall, in the airport, in the train station, whatever it be, fucking so fucking slow. So slow. They're like, that's the fucking speed they walk, like, like, like this. Or they have like a group of three and they walk like across and they walk really fucking slow. Like that just pisses me off, man. And I really want to make a film about it. So, like, how would you guys feel about like mini films like that? Um, you know, about things that go on in the city or whatever it may be. How, what, what would you guys think of that? And also to go along with that, how would you feel about possibly... Well, not possibly. How would you feel about gaming videos? Do you still want to see them on my channel? Do you want to see them gone? Do you want to just see vlogs? Do you want to see a mixture of both? Because, like, I'm really down to do either. Like, I want to do what you guys want to see. So let me know down in the comment section below whether you want just vlogs, you know, vlogs and short films, just short films, vlogs, short films, and gaming, gaming, whatever it may be, whatever the com combination may be. Let me down in the comment section below because, like I said, I want to make videos that you guys want to do. Yeah, just something that was on my mind. Just something that I was um, that I was thinking about and something that I think it's important for me to say because, like I said, I want to make videos that you guys want to see and in order to do that, I feel like I need to ask you and I need to talk to you. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I'm going to get prepared for this video to come out. It's all uploaded. I just want to make sure everything's ready. Then... I don't even know. Maybe go to the gym? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really done much today. Not, not that I did much yesterday either, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let me get ready for this video for me to, to be prepared. And, um, yeah. So, zooming ahead a little bit into the night. Just had a little bit of dinner. Um, getting ready. Not getting ready to watch a Wales game. Wales game's on at 3 a.m. Wimbledon's on later. Um, so is the Australian Grand Prix. But, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. I feel like I'm just going to hang out. Got to edit the vlog. Um, but right now, I'm gonna go out for a little bit of a drive. I just feel like going out for a drive. Maybe hit McDonald's, dude. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Oh, dude, go get a McFlurry. That's happening. That that's happening. So let me go grab my wallet, get my shoes on. Let's hit it. I used to want to take me on. I used to want to get. Let's do this, boys. From Macca's. Didn't really film because I don't like to film and drive or anything like that. But uh, yeah, back from Macca's. All good. Gonna head inside, go set up, maybe play a bit of FIFA, edit my uh, video. All good. Um, yeah, let's let's go chill in my room. Let's do it. Anyway, guys, um, I've just been chilling in my room for the last two hours. I'm not going to really do anything for the rest of the night, so I'm just going to edit this vlog and then head to bed. So I'm going to end it here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and give a like. If you didn't refresh your page, and give it another try. Make sure you go ahead and do something nice and helpful to someone else for someone else today. Bring some happiness. We all have enough negativity in our lives. Anyway, guys, this has been your boy William, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. <laughs>